Okonko, you almost killed that young man. What is wrong? Why did you stop me? Why did you stop me? I should have killed him and killed the consequences. Just imagine. He made me disown my own daughter, my only daughter. Telling me lies. Oh God. Obin, what happened? I go. He said my sister is innocent of all the allegations. Hello. Hello. Yes, eh? You see? Innocent. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? My daughter is innocent! Innocent! Where is German? Ah, where can we find our daughter? Obin, we need to go to the city and look for German. Okonkwo, you see, when I was talking to you, you refused to listen. You disown your only daughter. You told her all sort of things. You disown her. Hey! What the reality? What the reality? This girl has suffered. Okonkwo. Okonkwo. Just pray that nothing happens to that girl. Oh my God. Oh my God. My own daughter. My only daughter. Yes. You stay here henceforth. This is your room. Thank you so much, Doctor. I really appreciate. Thank you. You're welcome. How uh, later I would discuss on how to get you a job in my hospital. Perhaps an auxiliary one that could keep you busy as you do something. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Okay. Although I still have one bag of corn yet to sell. I don't know if you'll give me time to sell it off, then resume work on that, you, sir. It's okay. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Take your time. Hmm? Take your time. Thank you, sir. You're a good man. God will bless you. Bless you too. Um, once again, I am very sorry from the depth of my heart over your loss. Hmm? Accept my heartfelt condolence. It's okay. It's okay. What has happened has happened. And I believe God knows best. We can't question him. Sure. It's okay, it's okay. In case you, you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay? Okay, Doctor. No, it's all right. I'll, I'll be on my way now. Make yourself comfortable. And the baby as well. Make the baby comfortable. Mm -hmm. hmm? Let me go back to the hospital and uh, take care of other duties. Mm. How are you? Thank you, doctor. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I beg to take my leave. Take good care of yourself. Baby. Bye bye. <laughs> it's all right. Excuse me.
mami. Oh. I can't believe that you were dead. I thought you and Antidor have talked about this, and you refused. <sighs> yeah, Christian, my brother, we, we talked about it, but well, you see, I don't have any other option. When that lady told me her pathetic story, I had compassion to help before she falls into the wrong hand. Wrong hand. Wrong hand. How? What about her people? No family. No people. No one. You see, that lady was disowned by her father. Divorced by her husband. Hmm. Lost her son. Ejected from her house. Christian one name. If I tell you the whole story she told me, you get back one. You cry for her. But see, the most painful situation for me is that she lost her son in my hospital. Mm. Yes. A careless and idiotic staff of mine gambled with her son's life. Can you imagine that? Like seriously, you you see why we need to help her. You see why we need to show her love, kindness, and maximum protection till she finds her feet again. That lady has gone through too much, too too many things. I mean, she's in a perilous time, and we must. For the sake of humanity, show her love, compassion, and support. Well, Oda, me, I don't have any issue. No issues at all. Just that I don't think that your wife, Antido, would accept the idea. I don't know. For me, no problems. Amen. <laughs> I know, of course, you want to have her reservations, but I'll handle it. Hmm? I'll handle it. I'll handle it. It's not, it's not an issue. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Hmm? Well, hmm. Yeah, I'm tired. I want to go and sleep. Yeah. It's night already. Cheers, Jigo. Good night. It's all right, Christian. Good night.
cause for this gathering. Of all of us, because it's very important to me. And I needed all of us to be here at this point in time. Before I say what I have to say. And I'm glad you showed up. I want to thank you for coming. It's very important to me, but it's quite simple. I want a divorce. Yes. Babe. May the Lord forbid. Yes. May he forbid. Yes. Pastor Israel. What has gone wrong? Why would you even think of such? You are a pastor. I, I, I'm, I'm very sure you know what the Bible says about divorce. Not to think of divorcing your faithful wife. Faith. That's the word I was waiting for. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. And I'm glad you brought it up. Because Angela here is nothing but unfaithful. God forbid. She is a demon. Hey, young man, watch your tongue. It's my daughter you're talking about. <sighs> and if I don't, what would you do? Babe, that is my father you are talking to like that. And I don't know he's your father. Wait. Is this why you've been acting strangely towards me? Why are you doing this? If, if there was something wrong, you, you could have discussed it personally with me. Why this embarrassment? Why this meeting? If I want a divorce, I will do it the way I want to do it. Not on your terms. If I had informed you earlier on, you would have involved Papa Gio and his wife. And I don't want that. I want it on my terms. This is what I wanted. And this is how I want to disclose it. Don't tell me what to do. Stop it! Stop this madness. I bind and I cast out that spirit of arrogance. Amen, Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. you're willing to quickly cast out the demons and bind the demons from me when Angela here is the adulterous one. Babe, hey, what are you saying? Hey, young man. I warned you before. One more derogatory word on my daughter, then I will show you why they call me Okonkwo. Did you hear me? Don't ask me to calm down. Calm down, my brother. Let us understand the situation very well. Hmm. Our in law, I hope you really understand the word that you uttered. Oh, yes. I understood the word. I used the word. I understood the word. And I know exactly what I am saying. Well, it would interest you to know that people have been calling me, texting me about her behavior. When she leaves this house and she goes out there, she knows what she does. She's been going to hotels. With different men. A pastor at that. A pastor that I don't know. Jesus! Deny it! That devil is a liar! Lies! Deny it! Lies! Lies! Israel, why are you lying against me? You know very well that you are the only man I have known all my life. Oh, you took my pride! Why are you lying against me? Papa is lying. lying. How can they? Pastor's wife like me, be living an adulterous life. That's the question you should be answering. That's the question you should be answering. Papa, Answer the question. Papa, he's lying against me. No, I'm not lying. You know the way you raised me. You know I can never do a thing like that. Why are you doing this? Do you have proof? Can you prove it? Can you prove it? 
that you not been doing what I say you're doing? Well, I have proof. I have proof. I can tell you I conducted a secret investigation with my doctor to find out the, the DNA of the child. And guess what? Do I need to spell it out? The child is not mine. Jesus. Blood of Jesus. The child is not mine. What more can I say? Angela is cheating on me. Jesus! And has been cheating on me. My goodness! I... <sighs> Pastor Israel, I shall continue to pray for you. I can see that the devil is trying to use you, not just to destroy you, but your total existence. Now, read my lips. Angela here is not going anywhere. I repeat, she is not leaving this house. Hey. Papa Oji, this is my house. Hey. This is my house, and I decide who stays in my house. Angela leaves my house today and now. Hey. Follow him, and you can take that bastard child of yours. Now, this is it. Sure is my son. This is it. I can take this nonsense from you anymore. Now, let me warn you. If I carry out an independent test and I discover that you are lying, I will show you where they call me a conqueror. They will be I will tell you why I'm a, a, a retired military officer. Mark my word, I am a conqueror. It's all right. You can conduct the test. It's fine. <laughs> Pastor Israel, or what do you call yourself? <laughs> do not ever think that we are unwise and uneducated. <laughs> Just wait for us. <sighs> Let's see. If anything happens to our pregnant daughter, <laughs> you are going to see a bigger mass spread on a broad daylight. <sighs> no more. <sighs> Why are you still here? Israel. Please, please. We can talk about this. You are leaving. Sister, you're, you're leaving today. You can actually discuss what, what, whatever it is. Babe, babe, you can't be serious. You just tell me that you're joking. Tell me you're joking. Okonkwo. Okonkwo. Something tells me that Choma is innocent. Innocent! Innocent you say! Which kind of innocence are you talking about? My own doctor confirmed it! And you're telling me she's innocent? Huh? God damn! So, this is what she has been doing in her husband's house! Highlighting all over the place! Oh God! What is this? <laughs> okay, I am still surprised. Choma, our daughter, was never a wayward girl. We brought her up in a decent manner. What really went wrong? Okay. I think something went wrong somewhere. Hmm? No. no. We have to invite her for a serious meeting. Which meeting are you talking about? No, no, no. Which meeting are you talking about? In my house? Huh? Eh? I don't even want to set my eyes on her again, not to talk of meeting. Okonkwo. Yes, I have disowned her. If I see her and age near me, oh God, God bear me witness. The heavens bear me witness. She is no longer my daughter. All right. Okonkwo, you can't be talking out of anger. A father does not reject his own child. I have rejected this you. One. I have. Okonkwo, you I cannot. I said I have. I have. You don't know me again. I'm a military man. Okay. I'm a disciplined man. Okay. And, uh, stop it digesting me. What is it? Mark my word. I will kill her. I will kill her. And if you come close to me, I will kill you also. You don't know me. I'm a military man. Where trained. Anybody who comes to it as sick on her behalf, I will kill the person. It's yours. Me, a military man. My daughter, I have her. No way. She's, she's, she's gone. Chopa. Chopa. My only daughter. 
So you are innocent after all. And I stupidly disowned you. God, what have I done? What have I done to my only daughter? Hey, Israel, it shall never be well with you. He went to buy something. They asked me to look after the gates. You must be Dr. Frank's wife. Who are you and what are you in my company? My name is Angela. My native name is Choma. I don't care about your native. Wait, wait a minute. Are you the woman my husband spoke to me about? Perhaps. <laughs> you are living with us? Yes, ma. I stay at the boys' quarter. What? No way. It's not going to happen. Frank! Frank! What? 
Doris, that lady needs help. She's homeless in the circumstance. Her child died in my hospital. She doesn't have anywhere to go to. And from information gathered, she stays in an uncompleted building, exposed to cold, unhealthy atmosphere, hazards. Come on. That woman is a breastfeeding mother. I don't care. Frank, I do not care. I am also going to be a breastfeeding mother too. Yes, I am two months and two weeks pregnant. My, oh my. And you didn't tell me all this while? God has finally remembered us. He has remembered us. He has remembered us, but that is not the topic of today. At all. Why would you disregard my opinion and bring in a total stranger into our home without my consent? Eh? Why? Doris. Doris. That woman needs help. I mean, put yourself in her shoes. That lady is going through perilous times, perilous moments. Please try to be reasonable here. I do not want to be reasonable. Read my lips. Frank, I do not want to be reasonable. That woman has to go back into that BQ, pack her things, and leave this house this minute. I, I don't even understand. Who knows if you're even lying? Who knows if her baby is yours? Yes! Everything is possible. That woman will not stay in this house. Not today, not ever. She has to leave. Beg your pardon. <laughs> Doris, I beg your pardon. You still realize I'm the man of the house? You still bear my name? Doris Frank, and not the other way around? Please, watch your lips, watch what you say, I'm still in charge, I'm still in charge. I don't understand what you're saying, are you picking her side over mine? Frank, I don't understand what is going on, am I not your wife? Eh? Why are you choosing her over me? So she's now more important, Abby. She is now more important than me in my own house, Frank. Frank, she will not stay in this house. She is not going to stay in this house, and I will make sure of it. Where is she? Doris. Doris. Where is she? Where is she? I'm sorry to inconvenience you. I only seek accommodation, and your your husband decided to assist me. Really? I perceive lies and evil mission in your voice. Yes. Where is your baby? She's sleeping, ma. Go and bring her. Go and bring her immediately. Okay, ma. I can't trust men. No, 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 no. If she brings her baby and I find out that she looks like my husband, <laughs> I will set this woman and her baby on fire. I will burn them down. Imagine. Eh? Her boring who? Come quickly! Let me see your baby. Todd, I want to see your baby. What is it, my any problem? Angela, if by adventure I find out you're trying to play a smart one on me, if I find out that this baby belongs to my husband, I will butcher both of you. I will kill both of you! No, she's my daughter. She's not your husband's child, though. Better, better be your daughter. Rubbish. Nonsense. Hey! Oh! 
Where's the money? Huh? Where's the money? The money? Where's the money? Where did you put the money? Okay. Where's the money? I'm coming up. See how they are. See how. Oh, no. See my wife. Get out. Go left. Why? Why? Why now? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? <laughs> the only money I have. This is all I have. <laughs> I'm here for you. I... I don't understand. <laughs> okay, let me make you to understand. See here, from the first day you came into this house, I've been admiring you. You're a beautiful woman. Eh? Please, eh? I, I want to ask you if you can be giving me what you give to my elder brother. You understand? I, I, will, I will enjoy it too. I, I don't understand. You're making me very uncomfortable, Mr. Chris. Okay, let me make you understand. Let me just hit the hammer on the head. See, I like you. You're a beautiful woman. Eh? I want to be sleeping with you. Uncle, do you? Uncle, see, even my brother's wife will not be away. My brother will not be away. You understand? I can come in the night. Then early morning, I, I zoom off. Uncle, me and you. See? I will protect you. See, my, my brother's wife, she has a lot of wala, but I will protect you. Lord have mercy. You want to be sleeping with me? Sleeping with you is an understatement. I want to be sleeping into you. Sleeping inside you, as an in between you. Eh? See, as, as you tie a rapper like this, my body has... Just imagine you lose this rapper, what I will see. Eh? Please. I will enjoy it. Eh? Please leave my room. You said? I said I rebuke you, Satan. Leave my room before I go to your elder brother and report you. Now leave. Me, Satan. In my brother's house. Me, associate CEO of this house. Leave your room. Let me see how you survive in this house if you don't give me this thing. You Satan. I cast the devil in you. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Please leave. You cast me. Leave. Cast and crew. Don't worry. Holy Spirit. Just imagine the way he barged into this room. Let me lock this door. Usman, Usman, is it you that gave me the name? Did you give me the name? Oh, am I owe you money? 
Baby, yeah. sorry, Chloe. Who sorry. ask you to carry that baby? So, who ask you to yeah. carry this baby? This baby is, is, is it the guy that is, is your mind? Yeah. Eh? You are asking me who asked me to carry baby as if you have given birth to a baby before. You, you, don't, you have not given birth to a baby, so you don't even know anything called baby. You, you that has given a birth to baby. Why is the baby crying while you are carrying her? Wait, wait. You think I am you that you enter any skirt you see, black shorts, anyone, even a mad person on the road you do. See, I know what you want to do in this house. I know it's my mom baby that you want to do jiggy jiggy with. Let me tell you, wallahi, wallahi. If you do any high in this house, I'll tell Uga. Go be shit. The carry baby. Any baby where you see, you carry him. It's not your business. Carry Papa. Uh, it's not it's your just, business. You're carrying her and she's crying. Uh, leave her for me. At least you don't <laughs> even know what is called baby. You don't even have, you don't have sympathy for baby. Come on. Baby, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, it's sir. Yeah, it's sir. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Wait. Yeah, you man, it's okay. It's okay, baby. Mwah, mwah, mwah. my husband, eh? You want to snatch my husband from me? I'm, I'm sorry. Let me go and change it, please. Come on, come back here, you fool! What are you even doing in my house by this time? I thought you roast corn for a living. What are you still doing here? I normally go to my shop by 10 in the morning. Yeah. Now, before I open my eyes, go back to your dirty room and carry your dirty baby and leave my house! What nonsense! Sorry, I won't wear it again, so... Imagine! Come back here! Who are you leaving this thing for? Huh? Come on, carry it! What did you say happened to him? Uncle, I don't know. It was at midnight. I started hearing sound coming out from his room. I went to see. And I saw him rolling on the floor. Chai, what are we going to call this now? What is all this? What is happening? Obin. You have to continue taking care of him. Amen. Let me go and look for Mbadi where the healer. Because this is getting out of hand. Let's see what he can do for us. Hmm? Okay, it's all right. Take care. Thank you. I'm coming. Yeah, hurry. Chai. Thank you. Oh, oh. Nothing will happen to you. You will be fine. I am sure you must be fine. Hey, hey, my son, have you heard about the uh, Joma? No, no. You don't know her whereabouts? No, no. Hey. Uh. hey. Okay. What are you going to do now? I'm planning to move to the city to go look for my elder sister. Do you know her ex-husband's house? The last time I went there, another occupant has taken over the house. It was sold. What about the man's church? Church? Church that was converted into a hotel and a clubhouse? God forbid. See, Amaka, I don't want to even talk about that. The only thing I'm thinking about right now is to see my elder sister and her children. 
I know the cause of my father's illness is because of the pastor's confession. Chimo? Yes. Oh. Huh. Obim, I know something was wrong. Something was definitely wrong. I could not believe it. I'm still in shock. I can't believe it. How can a pastor ruin his family and his loved ones just by lying against his wife? That man is a devil. And I promise you, I'm going to kill him. If not in this life, in the life after. I will definitely kill him. Indeed, that man is a devil. Hi! Obey. Okay. She don't need to worry. Do not stress yourself much. I'm here for you. Hmm? I'm here for you. <laughs> oh my God, you will not understand. Sorry, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Okay. You will not do it. It will not work. What is wrong with you? Eh? Why are you trying so effortlessly to start with fight over a complete stranger? Eh? Why? You know what? You're going to tell me that woman's me shot in our house. And you better start talking now. Dorit. What's the matter with you? I mean, why are you why are you doing all this? Don't tell me you drove all the way from the house to my office to come and yell at me. Hey, came can name. Where's my lunch? There is no lunch for you. Huh? Frank, I did not bring any lunch for you. I came for you to tell me why you insist on that woman staying with us. Frank, why? But I've answered this question time without number. What else do you still want me to say? Tell me, what else do you want me to tell you? And you dare open your mouth to tell me that she'll be working in your hospital. Eh, Frank? Why? Uh, Frank, don't push me, oh. Don't push me, I'm warning you now. Don't push me. You want to be my janitor? No, tell me. You want to be cleaning my office for me? You want to leave your business and begin to clean for me? Is that what you want? Frank, that woman has a business. She has a friggin' business. She sells corn on the road. Leave her, let her do her business. What is wrong with you? Frank. <clears throat> Doris, I don't need this stress right now. I don't. I will be walked myself in. You know what? Let's go in. Check your body and know the level of your fetus. Frank, I am not following you anywhere. Yes, I would rather go to your friend's hospital for him to check me than for you to lay your hands on me. Rubbish. You meet me in the house. You will. You're fighting a stranger, not me, your wife. You're fighting a stranger, Frank. You meet me at home. I don't mean to beg, I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. Israel, see my Bible. Please, sir. I am very hungry. I've been working since. I am hungry. I'm even sick. See my medicine, I'm not sure. See my med medication. I think I'm, I beg, I need money. If you can give me some small money, let me buy food. Please, have mercy on me. I beg, I'm hungry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You say you're a pastor? Yes, I'm pastor Israel. Uh, uh, pastors don't beg. Rather you pray from for manner to fall from heaven. And uh, we also pray for your healing. Yes, I've been praying now. <laughs> okay. 
Bless say they look for people where you go use their money do ritual. No, see, I'm a pastor now. See my Bible, see my medicine oh, now. Die and day you're dead. Please now, I beg you now. God. I be your servant, don't turn your back on me, yo. I'm debted to you. I be your servant, don't let me remain in shame. I look up to you, to know. Oh Lord, help me, help me, save me, restore my life. Run my rage, has ruled my life. Oh Lord, help me, help me, save me, save me, restore my life. Run my rage, has ruled my life. happened to your eye again? But I've told you now. I've told you I had an accident. You had an accident? Mm. What kind of accident? I don't understand. And how come the accident was targeted very close to your eye? Brother, something hit me. Brother, please, I don't, I don't have strength to talk about it. Just allow me to eat this food. Please. I don't have strength. Nico. Allow me to eat my... I shall allow you to eat. You don't have strength. Continue to fight. Christian, continue to fight. One day they will open your brain. And I'll be very, very glad to give you a bed space in my hospital. Mm. Babe, babe, mm. have you noticed something? That since that woman came to our house, bad things have been happening to us. So. Terrible you. things have been happening. Hmm. Hmm? Look at today, I almost hit a woman on my way back home. And look at Chris's face. Eh? Look at. Have you ever heard that Chris was involved in a fight? Oh. My husband is. <coughs> Take, no. What do you want water? <coughs> Sorry. Mm, sorry, sir. That's same bad luck. You are coughing. You know? You see? There is always a day for a new character. And uh, your assertion has nothing to do with Angela. And I want to make this clear. There is nothing anyone would do to change my mind. I will help that girl. So get that into your head. Frank, I don't understand. What is that supposed to mean? What are you saying? That we're going to help that girl. We help that little girl. That woman, let's help her. She really? Needs help. Really, Frank? Really? It's fine. Please, I want to pass. Excuse me. I want to pass. Sorry, ma'am. I don't have pass. Let me eat that food. I'm getting very hungry. Don't touch that now. I'm not cursing. Let me Do I even start it? Okay, let me finish. Let me my dear, can you imagine? I would just be in my house like this, sharing my husband with another woman. Yes, so I have even tried to send her away from this house, but my husband keeps insisting she stays. My dear, I am tired. It's not getting funny anymore. Eh? Can you imagine what my husband told me today? That he wants that idiot to resume work in his office. 
My daddy thing was making me boil. I was so angry. I felt like eating him raw. Babe, I have to be wise. I have to be wise. This girl cannot come and collect my husband in front of me. Eh? Yes. I am even planning on putting CCTV all over the house. I need to monitor her. I'm giving her close marking 247. Yes, now. Hey, babe. You know how hard it was for me to conceive. Five years in marriage. Now I am pregnant and one woman wants to come here and collect my husband. It's not possible. tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. I will not allow anybody to come and take my husband into my house. It's not possible. Frank. 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 Frank, what is the meaning of this now? How will I be here and you leave me and go to bed? Don't we always cuddle? Do you not hold me before we sleep? What is this nonsense? <coughs> Frank, what? Leave me alone. If you don't want to hold me, you tell me. Is this how we used to hold ourselves? Eh? Frank, I don't understand you anymore. I don't understand you anymore. Eh? Since we brought this woman into our house, you don't hold me. You don't even make love to me. Nothing. What is happening? Doris, for God's sake, what is your problem? What is your problem? Why are you, why are you, why are you nagging? Why are you just being insensitive? I want her to leave our house. I want her to leave this night if possible. Uh -uh. Let that woman leave our house. It's okay. I've heard you. I've heard you, Doris. Frank. Frank, what is the meaning of this? I am talking to you, I say you've heard me. Frank, what is this? Frank, you must hold me or you must hold me. You must hold me. Nobody will collect you from me. You hold me. You hold me. There's a way we handle such a situation as a body of Christ, especially the pastors that pastor churches. I beg of you, please allow the church, the Association of Pentecostal Pastors, to dwell on this matter. Please. Are you done? Are both of you done with what you're saying? <clears throat> well, I don't think I'm going to come to this house again. This will probably be my very last day to step foot in here. As it is, I don't need anyone to reshape what I'm thinking, to reorient my mind, because my mind is made up. I simply came to tell you that I am going to get married to somebody else, to another lady. Yes, I'm a pastor. I cannot remain single. 